Hello everyone, this is Al Red Sox Fan coming to you from Al Red Sox Fan YouTube channel. Hope all is well. We're going to bring you some Stratomatic football on the PC. Tebow time, the 2007 Florida Gators take on the 1973 Ohio State Buckeyes. In 2007, Heisman Trophy winner Tim Tebow now goes into the time machine and goes backwards to 1973 to take on Woody Hayes Buckeyes at Ohio Stadium. The 2007 Florida Gators were 9-4 in the Heisman winning season for Tebow, while the 1973 Ohio State Buckeyes did not lose a game. They were 10-0-1. They would not win the national title, though, in 1973. I do believe it was Notre Dame. <clears throat> the Gators won the toss. They elect to receive. Here's the kickoff by the Buckeyes. Snowy Ohio Stadium. In the return by the Gators. As he cuts to the right, brought down an eight yard return for Brandon James. Excellent kick coverage by the Ohio State Buckeyes. So Tebow under center. Actually, he is in shotgun formation. The running back is Moore. The wide receivers, Harvin, Murphy, and Caldwell. Ingram's the tight end. Your linemen, and they're pretty good. Meder at right tackle. Pouncey at right guard. The center, Miller. Left guard is Tart. And the left tackle, Watkins. So on first down, we're going to go with an end run with Timmy Tebow. Ohio State playing for the pass. Let's see if Tebow can get a roll here. Oh, this looks nice. Hit that 6-7. It's an 8. Tebow turns the corner, heads up field, and picks up 7 yards. Timmy Tebow with a 7-yard run. That will leave 2nd and 3 for the Gators. Moore and Rutledge are your backs now as they flank Tebow on each side. Inside run to Moore on second and three. Ohio State in a 4-3 showing blitz. I think they're coming, and they are playing the run. Moore takes it for three. Good, tough yards, and the chains move on the three-yard run. So first and ten for the Gators at their 26. Three wide out set for the Gators against the OSU Buckeyes. And run Tim Tebow once again. The Buckeyes playing for the pass. They're in a nickel 4-2-5. Can Tim Tebow turn the corner? Oh, they're going to get him this time. Tebow will only pick up a yard. Good job by the 1973 Ohio State Buckeyes. Randy Gratishire on the tackle at Tim Tebow. He would go on to play for the Broncos. Second and nine. Second and nine. Gators come to the line of scrimmage. Caldwell, Murphy, Harvin, your wideouts. Ingram's a tight end. Moore flanks Tebow in the shotgun position. Quarterback draw, Tim Tebow. They're playing pass. 4-2-5 nickel. Here goes Tebow. He needs to get a decent roll here. Oh, he's going to bust it. Timmy Tebow on the draw right up the middle. Picks up 16 yards, but a flag litters the field. Florida is flagged for a holding. Back up the bus, Gus, as the Ohio State Buckeyes of 1973 accept that penalty. 
So instead of a first down, it'll be second and 19. Second and 19. Caldwell, Harvin to one side. Murphy and Faison to the other. Tebow in shotgun. Moore next to him. We're going to go flat pass to Harvin on second and 19. Ohio State playing a 3-3-5 nickel, playing the pass. Looks like they might be blitzing. Tebow back to pass. And it'll be a seven-yard gain to Harvin as he's quickly brought down. There is a flag on Ohio State offsides. The Gators will accept, and instead of third and 12, it'll be second and 14. So second and 14. Hello, Forrest. Hope all is well. Thank you for joining us. Second and 14 for the Gators at their 22. They stick with the four wide out set. Off tackle with Moore out of the shotgun. Ohio State 3-3-5 and they're playing the run. They're playing the run. But this could pop if they get the roll. And it won't pop. The only thing that's popped is Moore. Great job by the 1973 Buckeyes stymieing that play. Making the tackle was Peter Cusick. That's going to bring up a third and long. Third and 14 to be exact for the Gators at their 22. They'll stick with three wideouts this time. Ingram comes back on the field at tight end. They need 14. Look in pass to Ingram, the tight end, on third and long. OSU playing 3 2 6. Dime playing the pass. They're doubling more out of the backfield. Tebow back to pass. He throws. Complete gain of eight. That will be six yards short as he does hit his tight end. Ingram. Fourth and six. The Gators will punt. So a good job by the OSU Buckeyes on defense. Here's the punt by the Gators. It's going to be a decent punt. It's a high punt. Doesn't travel as far as they want, but a fair catch is called by Neil Colsey. The Buckeyes take the field. I do not control the Buckeyes. Cornelius Green's the quarterback, the tight end. Fred Pagak, or Pajak, the lone wide out they're going with. David Hazel. They're going with a three-headed monster backfield. Archie Griffin, a year prior to winning his first of two consecutive Heisman Trophy winners. Bruce Elia and Big Pete Johnson. The Gators, we're going to play 4-3, and we're going to play the run on first down. Buckeyes playing a full house backfield. They're going to give it to Bruce Elia up the middle. Gators looking to stymie this play. And it's a five-yard gain. Good blocking by that OSU line. That's going to make it second and five for the Buckeyes at their 37. Here's their offensive line. Left tackle, Kurt Schumacher. Left guard, James Kriegel. At center, Michael Dedish. Right guard, Richard Mack. Right tackle, John Hicks. They did a good job of firing off the ball on that one. Forrest says, I love Strat football. I feel like people kind of trash talk it a bit. I like lots of other football games as well, but I think Strat football is brilliant. I like it. It's a good game. I like it. I don't. I like all the Stratomatic games. I sometimes am not, I'm not happy with the company's customer service at times. Again, my basketball game doesn't work. They won't help me. I bought it twice thinking if I buy it again when it was on sale last year for my new PC, it would work. Didn't, so that's my fault. Steeler fan, 1933, a.k.a. Matt, has joined us. Hope all is well. Steeler fan enjoys playing card and dice college football. He has an old set. So second and five for the Buckeyes. 
with 10.33 to play in the first quarter. No score. The Gators were first to, forced to punt on their first possession. Uh, let's go. I'm not, I don't want to show. Eh, do we want to show blitz? No, I don't want to show blitz. Let's go 3-4. We're going to go 3-4. Second and five. We're going to play the run. We're not going to key anybody. It's going to be a run up the middle to Bruce Elia again. Elia gets the handoff, and he goes for six. They keep bludgeoning the Gator middle, and that's a first down. Two carries for Bruce Elia for 11 yards. Good job by Woody Hayes. This is what he likes to do. Three yards and a cloud of dust. Again, Green brings them to the line of scrimmage. Let's go to that 3-4 again. Let's bring the safety up. And we're going to play the run. Woody Hayes loves to run. Cornelius Green, the quarterback's going to look to try to get around the corner here. Can Green turn the corner? And this time he will not. Good job by the Gators swallowing up Cornelius Green. Making the tackle was Cuttingham for Florida. Second and nine for the Buckeyes at their 44. Buckeyes to the line of scrimmage. Second and nine. Again, I like to play the 3-4. Oops. Safety up. Second and nine. We're going to play the run. They, they run the ball a lot. Inside run. Archie Griffin. First carry of the game for Archie. They're hoping for big things from Archie. Archie bludgeons through for nine and a first down. Oh, a quick move and acceleration running over two Gators on his way to move the chains. Nine yards for Archie Griffin. Ground and pound working to perfection for Woody Hayes' Buckeyes of 1973. I guess we'll go 4-3 this time. Four down linemen will play the run. It's a fly pass. No. Yes, it's a deep throw. Play action fake. Green incomplete. He did it a 2 5 or 12. Those are not bad rolls. The 5, you can obviously get 4 1, 3 2. And the 12, you need the double 6 there. So they go over the top on first and 10. Woody, Woody Hayes threw a little uh, Allen wrench into the situation there. 8.38 to play in the first quarter. We'll stick with the 4-3. And we will play the run again. Cornelius Green, the quarterback, will call his own number. He's going to look to turn the corner. Does he get the roll? He's only going to pick up two yards. Good job of the Gators defense stringing that out. That will leave third and eight. Third and eight for the Buckeyes. On the Gator, 45. Third and eight. The Gators will go back to the 3-4. The safety will play back. Third and eight. We're going to play pass. And... We're going to play the flat. Off tackle to Big Pete Johnson. Woody Hayes keeps it on the ground, gives it to his big back. Pete Johnson will rumble for six, but that's two yards too short. Pete Johnson got into that secondary, but making a torpedo tackle on big Pete Johnson was Roderick Blackett. Good job by Blackett. Fourth and two, and Woody Hayes keeps the offense on the field. They're out of field goal range. Ball at the Florida Gator 39, 7.47 left in the first quarter. Steeler fan, 1933, a.k.a. Matt, says, That is true. I have three sets of Stratomatic put out in the 80s, 86 through 88. I really wish Stratomatic had continued making college football cards. I enjoy the pro game, too. I recently finished the 2020 Steelers replay. Cool. How did they do? Big fourth and two here. We're going to play a 5-2, five, 5-down five lineman. Everyone up in the box. 
Everybody up in the box to stop the run on fourth and two. We're going to play the run. Here we go. It's going to be an outside run with the quarterback. Stuff him, stuff him, stuff him. Cornelius Green is stopped in the backfield. Minus three yards. The Gators come bludgeoning through to swallow up Green one more time. Turnover on downs, and Woody Hayes is none too pleased with his offensive line there as Cornelius Green is brought down by Derek Harvey. So the Gators put five down linemen on the field, and everyone in the box to stop the run, and that's just what they did. Turnover on downs. Tim Tebow and the offense get their second crack at OSU of 1973. Ball at their 42, 730 to play in this first quarter. It's going to be a long pass. We're going to look for Harvin on first down. Buckeyes playing 4-2-5. Nickel playing the pass. Timmy Tebow's going to throw it up. Trying for a big play. Tebow looks, throws, incomplete. Buckeyes had good coverage on that play. Back deep was Jerome Davis. And also helping out the safety, Carl Kern. So second and ten, the Gators and Tim Tebow do it again. Second and ten, quarterback draw, Timmy Tebow. He's had success on this play. Buckeyes playing the pass, 3-3-5 nickel, showing blitz. Can Tim Tebow rip off a big run here? Come on, Timmy. Come on, Timmy. No, Timmy will not rip off a big run. Tebow will pick up two, but a flag litters the field here. Snow continues to fall at Ohio Stadium. Personal foul. Roughing Timmy Tebow. Woody Hayes thinks it's a BS call, but the Gators will accept. It'll be first and ten for Florida at their 42. I'm sorry, at the OSU 41. So a big penalty puts the Gators in Buckeye territory. Tebow brings them to the line of scrimmage. Moore flanks him to one side. He's the lone back. Murphy and Harvin to one, to one side. Ingram and Caldwell to the other. Ingram the tight end. 6.56 to play in this first quarter. No score. Matchup of Giants. Inside run. Moore. Buckeyes playing 4-2-5, and they're playing the run. They're playing the run. They're looking to stuff Moore. But Moore battles through an arm tackle, picks up five yards. Second and five for the Gators at the Buckeye 36. Snow continues to fall here in Ohio. Second and five. Line buck Tim Tebow. Tebow will call his own number, number 15. Buckeyes playing pass, 4-2-5 nickel. Here comes Timmy Tebow. Get that low road, Timmy. He gets a 7, only picks up 2. The Buckeyes quickly close on the very athletic and handsome Tim Tebow. So a big 3rd and 3, under 6 to play in the first quarter. Tebow brings them to the line of scrimmage. Murphy, Harvin to one side. Ingram, Caldwell to the other. Moore flanks Tebow in the backfield. 3rd and 3. Line buck Tim Tebow. Buckeyes 4 2 5. They're playing the pass. Randy Grattershire's doubling Codwell. And Murphy's getting doubled also. Here's the run by Timmy Tebow. He needs three. He only gets two. Again, the Ohio State defense quickly reads run. And the Buckeyes stop Tim Tebow a yard short. Fourth and one from. The Ohio State 32, we're not going to attempt any type of kick. The hell with that. Three wide out set, Tebow in shotgun. Actually, let's bring Tebow under center. Tebow comes under center. Moore, the lone setback. Harvin's in the slot, Murphy to the outside. Codwell, the other receiver. Ingram's the tight end. Big fourth and one with just over five to play in a scoreless first quarter. 
It's the 2007 Florida Gators taking on the 1973 10-0-1 Ohio State Buckeyes. Big fourth and one for Timmy Tebow. Flat pass to Harvin on fourth and one. We're trying to catch OSU. Look and run. OSU and Woody Hayes are playing the pass. Unbelievable on fourth and one. They're playing the pass with a 4-2-5 nickel. Tebow looking to throw. Will Harvin make the catch? Yes, he does. A one-handed grab by Harvin for nine yards. Fourth and one. And the Gators pick up nine. Timmy Tebow claps his hands. 4.58 and counting in the first quarter. New set of town downs for the Gators. Ball at the Buckeyes 23. Inside run to Moore, the halfback, on first and 10. Buckeyes playing pass. 3.35 nickel showing blitz. The handoff to Moore. And Moore is brought down in the backfield. That's a yard loss. Excellent play by the OSU front. Peter Cusick, the nose tackle, brings down Mr. Moore. So that's going to make it second and 11. Second and 11. Oh, this is an old Strat game. I, I don't buy the new Strat games. Graphics never change, to my knowledge. I don't think the graphics have changed in years. When it goes on sale again towards the end when they start off the new game, then I'll pick it up for half price. Hope everyone's doing well, and we'd like to say hello to our good friend, the original Grognard. Check out his wonderful channel, of course. His wonderful military strategy Facebook group page, as well as his channel. The original Grognard, our good friend Devin, the OG. Also here in snowy Ohio, Steeler fan 1933, a.k.a. Matt, and Forrest. Heitert, hopefully, or Heitert, hopefully I pronounced that right. Second and 11, delayed, it's going to be a delayed run by Tebow on second and 11. The Buckeyes playing pass, 3-3-5, three, three, showing blitz, come on Timmy, come on Timmy, come on Timmy. Tim Tebow rips off a huge run, first down, but another flag on the field, who is it on, who is it on? It is on OSU. We will decline. That penalty will take the big Tim Tebow run as Tebow went for 13. The Gators first and 10 at the Buckeye 11. Just over four to play. Tebow brings the offense to the line of scrimmage. He's going to look for a medium pass to Codwell on first and 10. Maybe a little play action here. It's going to be a crossing pattern to Codwell. OSU 425 nickel. They're doubling Harvin. They're doubling Harvin playing the pass. Will Caldwell be open? Here's the pass rush on Tebow. Uh-oh. Tebow's looking to throw. He evades the rush. He's going to throw. He scrambles on the run. Tebow, touchdown. Timmy Tebow. Touchdown. As he was under duress, went through his progressions. Cornel Cornelius Ingram, the tight end, becomes his primary. And he hits him. For the score, let's watch that replay. A wonderful job by Tim Tebow. And there's a booyah touchdown to Cornelius Ingram. Six points for the Gators. So Forrest, he turked. He said you pronounced it right the first time. Oh, high turk. I, I couldn't remember which way I pronounced it. Forrest Heitert. Well, thank you very much for being here. 6 nothing. One more time on the replay. Tebow to Ingram for 6. 
and the Nest T plunge in the cold here at Ohio Stadium. Now for the extra point. Ohio State going for the block. The snap, the place, the kick. And it is good. 7 nothing Gators. They're celebrating down in the swamp. Gators to kick off. Here's the kickoff. Ohio State setting up the wall. Here's the return. A cut to the right. And an acceleration. It's a beautiful return for Ohio State. 31 yards. Archie Griffin followed his blocks beautifully. A very angry Woody Hayes screaming on the sidelines. He'll like that, though. OSU takes over first and 10 at their 41. Again, I do not control. I do not control the Buckeyes. So please don't say, oh, they didn't play three backs or anything like that. The Strat engine is controlling them. Larry Harris has joined us. Larry, not happy with this game. Sorry. Hope you're doing well. It's going to be Eli Griffin and Johnson, the running backs. Three-headed monster. Green under center. Pajic, the tight end. Hazel, the lone wide out. We're going to play 4-3, have the safety up, and we're going to play the run because Woody Hayes loves his three yards in a cloud of dust. Here's the snap. And it's going to be a runoff tackle. And five yards for Archie Griffin. So second and five for the Buckeyes at their 46 as they encroach upon midfield and Gator territory. Green brings them to the line of scrimmage. Usual suspects on the field. We're going to play the run again on second and five. Oh, I hit key. I just want to play the run. They're going to try to go around the corner with Cornelius Green, the quarterback. Here goes Green. Green follows his blocks, turns it upfield. He'll be a yard short. That's a gain of four. That is a gain of four. Big third and one now at midfield. Green brings them to the line of scrimmage. Griffin, Eli, Johnson, your backs. The Gators will go with five down linemen, two linebackers bring the safety up. And we're going to run key. We're going to run key Archie Griffin. Actually, you know what? We're going to run key Archie Griffin. I normally don't key anybody. It's a run with the quarterback, Cornelius Green. He fakes the pitch. He'll keep. And he's going to turn the corner and he'll pick up seven yards. So the Buckeyes pick up a big first down there. 159 left in the first quarter. 7 nothing Gators. First and 10 for the Buckeyes at the Gator 43. Green once again brings them to the line of scrimmage. We're going to go 4-3. Safety up. And we will play the run on first and 10. It's going to be a play action fake slant to Fred Pajak. Green. Back to pass. Looking for Pajak. And he threw a little behind him off his fingertips. Second and ten, Woody Hayes has thrown the ball twice in this game. Second and ten for the Buckeyes. Gators continue to play the run on second and ten. Pitch out, Archie Griffin. Can Archie turn the corner? Griffin will pick up a block and four yards. That will leave... The Buckeyes with a third and six from the Florida 39. What will they do here on third and six? You're insane if you're playing a nickel against this offense. We're going to play 4-3. Safety up, and we will play the run on fourth and six. Third and six, excuse me. Cornelius Green with the quarterback keep around the corner. Can Green pop? Can Green pop? Green picks up a little bit of a block. Breaks through one arm tackle, but then is brought down. He will be short of the first down, making the tackle for the Gators. Was the left end, Derek Harvey. 
fourth and three, and Woody Hayes keeps the offense on the field. Woody Hayes keeps the offense on the field. Ball at the Gator, 36. Last time they were in this situation, they got stuffed. Gators go with five down linemen, two linebackers, and the safety up. We will play the run on fourth and three. It's going to be a play action fake. Green's going to go deep. Green's going deep looking for David Hazel. Oh, my Lord. Hazel has a step as he goes back to the out and off his fingertips. Incomplete. He needed the five. They got the six. A turnover on downs. And Woody Hayes, none too pleased. 13 seconds left in the first quarter. The Gators are up 7-0. Tim Tebow takes over the ball with the offense at their 36. Tebow in shotgun, Moore next to him. Ingram the tight end. Murphy and Harvin to one side, Caldwell to the other. Tim Tebow up the middle on first and 10. Buckeyes continue to play pass. Here goes Timmy. Come on, Timmy. Low roll. And Tim Tebow for five. Retro Replays MN is here at Snowy Ohio Stadium. Hope all is well. I'm doing okay. Thank you very much. So second and five for Tim Tebow and our beloved Gators. Usual suspects on the field. Second and five. And run. Timmy Tebow. Get, uh, Buckeyes continue to play pass. 3-3-5 three, three, showing blitz. Can Tebow turn the corner? No, he cannot. He is brought down quite rudely on this snowy field. For a loss of three, it will be third and eight. Robert Brzezinski with the stop of Tim Tebow. Third and eight now for the Gators at their 38. Draw Tim Tebow. Number 15, looking to do it all like Bogey and Bacall. Woody Hayes, smelling pass, sends a dime defense out there. Tim Tebow needs a huge roll, and he's going to get swapped under. The Buckeyes smash Tim Tebow to the snowy turf. That is a loss of two. Once again, Pete Cusick and company bring down the very athletic Tim Tebow. Fourth and ten. The Gators will punt. So Woody Hayes clamping down on Timmy Tebow. Here's the punt by the Gators. Henry to do the punting. He's looking for a high booming kick. It's going to be about 36 yards. There's the punt. And going backwards, trying to make a play. And being tackled is Neil Cozy. He loses four yards, and you really don't want to go back to the bench and face Mr. Woody Hayes. Woody Hayes, you can see steam coming out of his ears. The Buckeyes will take over first and 10 at their 24, 13, 28 left in the first half. 7 nothing Gators. Griffin, Eli, Elia, excuse me, and Johnson, your three-headed monster. Green under center. Pay Jack and Hazel are your receivers. Pay Jack being the tight end. Gators 4-3. Safety up looking for the run. Gators keying the run. They're going to try to go outside the Buckeyes with their quarterback Cornelius Green. Green will pick up five yards. Good blocking by the OSU line. Second and five now for the Buckeyes at their 29. Gators stick with the 4-3, and we're going to play the run again. Safety help. Cornelius Green looking to run the sweep again. Can this quarterback do it? He's only going to pick up two. Excellent pursuit by the Gators on this snowy field. They're not used to playing in the snow. That will leave third and three for the Buckeyes at their 31. Green brings the offense to the line of scrimmage. Griffin, e Elia, and Johnson, your three-headed monster in the backfield. Third and three. The Gators will send out five down linemen, two linebackers, and safety up. And we will play the run. Will Woody Hayes uncharacteris uncharacteristically go to the pass? He will. It's a quick slant to the tight end, Fred Pajak. 
Green looking, 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 looking. Throws in completely through low. And that will bring up fourth and three. And the Buckeyes will punt. So Woody Hayes decides to throw the ball. Here's the punt by the Buckeyes. It'll be a 39-yard punt. Snowy field. Brandon James will try for the return. Come on, Brandon. Oh, Brandon James tried to circle away from the kick return coverage. He'll lose seven yards, and that Gators sideline none too happy with Mr. James. So first and ten for the Gators with 12.20 to play. In the first half, 7-0 Florida Gators and Timmy Tebow. 2007 Tim Tebow Heisman Trophy year. James will be the setback next to Tebow. Aaron Hernandez in the game at tight end. Murphy and Harvin to one side. Caldwell to the other. Tebow is going to go... Short to medium to Canada gets Aaron Hernandez. Buckeyes, 4-2-5, nickel playing the pass. Tebow looking for Hernandez. Flag on the field. Hernandez makes a tough catch in traffic. He's got the first down, but what's the flag? It is on OSU. Offsides, we will decline. We will decline. First and 10. Tebow completes to Hernandez. So the Gators have it at their 33. Our good friend Sports Time Machine has joined us here at Snowy Ohio Stadium. Check out that wonderful channel. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. He's here along with Steeler Fan 1933, a.k.a. Matt, Retro Replays MN, Larry Harris, who's not happy with the game, and Forrest Heitert, also the original Grognard. Greatly appreciate all you fine folks joining us for the football game. First and ten for Tebow and the Gators. Inside run to James on first and ten. Ohio State continues to play nickel and dime coverage. This time they are playing the run out of the 3-3-5 nickel. James needs a roll here, and he's going to get stuffed. But there's a flag on the play. Offsides on Florida. So first and 15, back up the bus to the Gator 28. First and 15. Tebow looks to flare it to James now on first and 15. It'll be a button hook to James. Ohio State 4-2-5 nickel. They're playing pass. Oh, this could pop a bit. And it's going to pop a bit. James is going to pick up 11. On the button hook, Tim Tebow, very calm and collective in the face of pressure. Second and four. Tebow brings the offense to the line of scrimmage. Baldry's the tight end now. Second and four. Tebow calls his own number. Hey, diddle, diddle, Timmy Tebow up the middle. Buckeyes playing the run. 3-3-5, three, three, nickel. Here goes Timmy Tebow. Timmy! And he picks up five and a first down on this snowy field. Tebow having quite a good game. Under 11 to play in this first half of football. 7-0 Gators. Ball spotted at the Gator 44. Up the middle with James, the halfback. OSU playing the run, but a 3-3-5 nickel. Here's the handoff to James. And James struggles for one yard. James struggles for a yard. Second and nine at the Gator 45. Gators and run. Timmy Tebow in the snow. Can he turn the corner? OSU playing pass. Flag on the play. Tebow brought down three yards in the backfield. Holding on the Gators. Nice tackle on Tebow by decree of OSU. Ohio State accepts the penalty. And it's going to be second and 19 for the Gators at their 35. Moore comes back in the game. Four wideouts now for the Gators. Faison and Murphy to one side. Harvin and Caldwell to the other. Second and 19. 
Delayed handoff to Moore on second and 19. Buckeyes playing the pass. 3-3-5 Nichols showing blitz. Here's the handoff to Moore. And Moore quickly scampers through the hole and picks up eight. That will leave a third and 11. Third and 11. For the Gators. Steeler fan 1933. A.K.A. Matt says, I'm playing Glory Days Boxing right now. Flyweight. Vic Dryachian versus Koji Kababushi. Both are making their debut in my federation. Well, do tell. Give us the updates on what's going on and the final result. Under 10 to play in the first half. 7-0 Gators. Ball for the Gators at their 43. Gators 11 Short medium pass to Ingram, the tight end. Ingram's had a catch today. So Tebow's going to look for a slant to Ingram. OSU playing a 3-2-6. And they're showing blitz, so they're playing pass. Tebow back to pass. Tries to zip it between defenders. Incomplete. He needed the three or the five. Still would have been a yard short. Instead, it's incomplete. Fourth and 11 for the Gators from their 43. They will punt, and Henry will do the punting. OSU hoping for a big return in the snow. Henry, it's a 39-yard punt. And OSU is going to pick up 16 on the return. Excellent return by Neil Colsey. He had his... Uh, Head chewed off a couple of times by Coach Woody Hayes on the sidelines. Trying to get back in favor with Coach Hayes. Buckeyes first and 10 at their 34-8-51 left in the first half. 7-0 Gators. Three-headed monster in the backfield. Griffin, Ilya, and Johnson. Green under center. Hazel is the lone wideout. Pajak the tight end. Gators go 4-3. Safety help. And on first down, they will play the run. And it's Cornelius Green. The Buckeye quarterback trying to turn the quarter on the sweep. Green. Green's going to be hunted down by the Gators. And he'll struggle for a yard. Excellent side-to-side -side lateral pursuit by that Gator defense. Making one hell of a tackle on Green is the right end. Cunningham for the Florida Gators. So second and nine. Just over eight to play in the first half. Buckeyes to the line of scrimmage. Ball spotted at their 35. We will again play the run with a 4-3 safety help. Or safety up. Green. Play action fake. Looking to go over the top to Hazel. Green. He's under duress. He's going to scramble. Green gets away from a couple of Gators. And he'll pick up six yards before coming over to bring him down. Linebacker Brandon Spikes. Big third and three now for the Buckeyes. Under eight to play in this first half. They trail by seven. The 2007 Gators seven. The 1973 Buckeyes nothing. Ball spotted at the Ohio State 41. Third and three. Gators five down linemen, two linebackers, safety up. They're playing everybody up in the box and we will play the run. Bruce Elia to get the call up the middle. They'll give it to Elia. And he's got it. He breaks through a tackle. And on this snowy field, they measure. He just picks it up. They needed three. They got three. And Woody Hayes is clapping his hands. That's the way he likes to play. Three yards and a cloud of dust, though it's snowing here. 7.08 left in the half. Buckeyes first and 10 from their 44. Usual suspects on the field for the Buckeyes. We'll play 4-3. Safety up. And again, we play the run. Off tackle, Archie Griffin. Can Griffin pop? Griffin follows his blocks. And in the snow, he mushes for seven. Second and three for the Buckeyes. Trying to go on a game-tying drive. Green under center. Barks out the signals. We're going to play 4-3. Safety up and again play the run on second and three. Bruce Elia up the middle. This has been a good play for the Buckeyes. And he rips through. 
He'll pick up 12 before he's finally brought down in the snow. He could have almost went for pay dirt, but cornerback Joe Hayden came over and finally tripped him up. The Buckeyes on the march under six to play. They have it first and 10 at the Florida 37. Buckeyes again come to the line of scrimmage. The Gators will again play the run 4-3 safety up. Cornelius Green, the Buckeye quarterback, looking to, for the end run. Can he turn the corner? Good lateral pursuit by the Gators. Limit Green to a two-yard run. Second and eight. Second and eight for the Gators. 539 and counting. Henson's in the game for Ilya now, so it's Griffin, Henson, and Johnson in that three-headed monster backfield. Gators, again, will play the run. 4-3 safety up. Green's going to try to go play action fake. Quick slant to Pajak, the tight end. Green needs a low roll here. Green forcing it in. And it's incomplete. Almost picked off by the Gators. So a big third and eight. Ilya back on the field. He's in the middle of that three-headed monster between Griffin and Johnson. Third and eight. We're going to go three, four. Safety back. And we're actually going to play the pass for the first time. It's going to be a quick out to Pajak, the tight end, on third and eight. Green back the pass, rolls that way, throws incomplete. The Gators were all over that pass play. Fourth down, eight yards, ball at the Gator 35. And the Buckeyes will punt. Scalad Danny will do the punting. Gators will set up for the return. Here's the punt by the Buckeyes. That's going to sail into the... No! He goes for the coffin corner. The Gators will take over as the ball goes out of bounds at the 10. Cleve Baseball Fan 879 has joined us. Good evening, everyone. Ohio State gets destroyed and the Strat Card app crashed. Oh, well, still up. Still upright. What strap? What strat card? App? Oh, the strat card app crashed. <clears throat> Must be the baseball one. Did they get beat today, Ohio State, in real life? I didn't watch any games. Maybe that's why Larry Harris is angry. Four forty-five to play in the first half. Two thousand seven Gators and Tim Tebow seven. Woody Hayes is nineteen seventy-three Buckeyes nothing. Tebow James in the backfield shotgun. Baldry, the tight end. Caldwell outside of Baldry. Murphy and Harvin the other way. We're going to go deep pass to Harvin on first down. Buckeyes playing pass. 4-2-5 nickel. Tebow looking, looking, looking. He's going to heave it up. Incomplete off the snowy fingertips. Of Harvin. Percy almost made the catch. Cleve baseball fan says yes. Well, he didn't say yes, but the Buckeyes must have lost in real life. 42 to 27. Ouch. The Swiss cheese Ohio State defense couldn't stop the run today. So second and ten. Snow continues to fall here at Buckeye Stadium. And it'll be a, a delayed run by Timmy Tebow. Buckeyes playing the pass. 3-3-5. Three, three, Nichols showing blitz. Tebow looking to take off here. And Tebow will pick up four. The Buckeyes quickly close on Tebow. That's going to make it third and six. With under four to play in the first half. At the Gator 14. Ingram at tight end. Caldwell, Murphy, Harvin the wideouts. Moore flanks Tebow in shotgun. Third and six. A straight line buck for Tim Tebow on third and six. Buckeyes playing the pass. 3-3-5. Three, three, Tim Tebow looking to do it all like Bogey and Bacall. He will not. He'll only pick up two. Again, the Buckeyes swarm to the ball quickly. Reading run. Fourth and four. The Gators will punt from their 16. And here's Henry. He'll stand on his goal line. 
Ohio State should have some pretty good field position here. Woody Hayes hoping for a big return from Neil Colsey. And Colsey, there's a flag on the field. Colsey will pick up a block. He cuts to the right, heads up field, 14 yards for Neil Colsey. Oh my lord, they run into the kicker. And Woody Hayes is screaming and jumping up and down. He has thrown his headphones to the snowy ground. The Gators will accept. And they will have a first down and 10 at their 21. So the Buckeyes are going to be in great field position. But they run into the punter. So Tim Tebow back on the field. This time James flanks and Baldry's at tight end. Usual suspects at wide out. Inside run to James on first and 10. OSU playing the run with the 3-3-5 nickel safety up. They hand off to James. James is going to struggle here. He'll pick up two. As OSU again swarms to the ball carries. Second and eight. 227 and counting in the first half. Second and eight. More on the field now as James goes off. Three wideouts, one tight end. Inside handoff to Moore on second and eight. Gators trying to control the ball. Buckeyes playing the run again in the 3-3-5. Safety up. Oh, this is going to be a big play for the Buckeye defense. Moore brought down in the snowy backfield. That's a one-yard loss. Third and nine. Third and nine. We're not going to call timeout. 207 and counting. Third and nine. Tebow. He's going to heave it up on third and nine to Murphy. Ohio State playing a dime, looking past, doubling Harvin. Tebow looking, looking, looking. It's going to the receiver card. It's going to be huge. Oh, my God. A flag on the freaking field. The Gators jumped. Oh, my God. It would have been 35 yards, but it doesn't matter. The yellow hanky stops the play. Ugh. So third and 14. Gators stick with their same formation. And we're going to go long pass. To Murphy once again. OSU in a dime. Doubling the tight end. Cornelius Ingram. Here's the rush on Timmy. Tebow looking as we got a line battle here. Tebow will evade the rush. Tebow looking, 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 looking. Tebow's going to take off. And he'll scramble for seven. That's only half the distance they needed. So that's going to bring up fourth and seven. We will not call timeout. The Gators to punt. Henry to punt from about his nine. OSU has all three timeouts. They're coming after the punter. They're going for the block. They're going for the block. They won't get the block. Here's the punt. And it's a good one. Colsey circles back. Oh my God, he does it again. Loses seven yards. Woody Hayes is really going to choke him when he gets to the sideline. Might even smack him in the neck. 1.45 left in the first half. Why does it say I called timeouts? I didn't call timeouts. Did I call timeouts? I didn't think I called timeouts. Buckeyes have it first and 10 at their 23. We're going to play a 3-4. Safety back. And we're going to play balanced here. Off tackle, Archie Griffin. Griffin in the snow. How much can he mutt for? Not much at all. He is stuffed. They couldn't get the blocking there for Archie. No gain. Good job by the Gators. We're not going to call timeout. And we're not going to bring the safety up. We're going to play 3-4. Pass on second and 10. It's going to be a slant to the tight end. Pajek. Green drops back. Green. 
He's going to throw into traffic. He's going to throw into traffic. And it is picked off by the Gators. And here's the return. Pick up. Intercepted by Joyner. A return of 12. And the Gators are in business with 107 to play. And it says we only have one timeout. I don't recall calling timeouts, but maybe I clicked on the wrong button. Ball at the Buckeyes 32 green. That's a costly pick. Okay. Try to get out of bounds. End run Tim Tebow on first down. Buckeyes playing a 4-2-5 nickel. They're playing the run. Can Tebow turn the corner? Can Tebow turn the corner? Timmy Tebow looks to pick up four yards, and he's knocked out of bounds. So Tebow picks up four yards. He got all he could get and gets out. Second and six. Second and six. Again, we'll try to get out of bounds and run. Tim Tebow again on second and six. Buckeyes, 4-2-5, nickel. They're run-keying more. Can Tim Tebow bust it? Can Timmy bust it? Can Timmy bust it? Timmy turns the corner, but he is knocked out of bounds for a yard loss. Timmy never could turn it upfield. They kept him laterally. So third and seven, 52 seconds left in this first half. 7 nothing Gators. Gators might have to go for a field goal here. They like to get closer, though. Tebow on the delayed run. Buckeyes playing nickel. Three down lineman and the pass. Tim Tebow pumps. He's going to go! Timmy Tebow's going to go! 14 yards for Tebow, but another flag litters the field. And the penalty is on Florida for holding. Nullifying a beautiful run from Tim Tebow. The Gators sideline none too happy what they think is a home uh, town call. So third and 17 from the 29, 45 seconds left. Again, delayed handoff to Tebow. They try to get in closer field goal range. Buckeyes playing the pass, dime. Here goes Timmy, here goes Timmy. And he'll only get two. Quickly closing and wrapping him up were two Buckeye defenders. Carl Kern, the safety, and Jerome Davis, the defensive back. We will not call timeout. Left to play, call timeout 30. We'll go down to 15 seconds. Here comes the field goal kicking unit. Joey... Lee Joss, or Lee Haas, as the Jays could be silence, I guess. So here's Joey for the field goal attempt. The snap, the place, the kick. And it's good! We get the two, the double ones. Ten, nothing. Gators, as the half is coming to a close... Let's watch that replay. We rolled a double one there. That's it. It's now a two-possession game in favor of the Gators. Update in Steeler Fan 1933, a.k.a. Matt's Glory Days Boxing Federation bout. Darchinian KOs Kabayashi at 239 of round six. Up next, featherweights Hogan Bassey and Louis Espinoza. Thank you for that update as we got some football you're watching and some boxing updates in the chat glory days boxing best tabletop game period in my opinion florida to kick off eight seconds left in the half here's the kickoff and osu will down it in the end zone with a knee we will now play dime not show blitz and play pass. It's going to be a run by Champ Henson up the middle. 
And this will end the half. He's going to get slaughtered. Lucky to hold on to that slippery football. No gain. Good job by the Gators defense. We're not going to call a timeout. And that ends the first half. The Florida Gators 10. The 2007 Tim Tebow Heisman Trophy winning Florida Gators 10. The 1973 Woody Hayes led Buckeyes nothing. The Gators to kick off. Here's the kickoff to the Buckeyes. Buck uh, they'll take a knee in the end zone. It's a touchback. So the Woody Hayes Buckeyes first and 10 at their 20. Griffin, Ilya, and Johnson, the three-headed monster backfield. Pajak the tight end. Hazel the lone wide out. Cornelius Green under center. He threw that crucial pick that led to another three points for the Gators. We're going to play 4-3. Safety up and play the run. you got to play the run against Woody Hayes. And it's going to be a quick square out to Hazel. Cornelius looking. He's going to throw off the receiver card. And it's going to be a big game. What a catch by Hazel. Then he scampers in the snow. Finally brought down 18 yards and a cloud of snow. Cornelius Green, nice pass there. First and 10 for the Buckeyes at their 43. We will continue 4-3 safety up, play the run. Off tackle, Bruce Elia. Elia will get the carry, and he will pick up four yards. Gators swarm to the ball. Second and six now for the Buckeyes at their 47. Safety comes up. We're going to play the run on second and six. Cornelius Green will fake the pitch and try to go around the end. Here goes Cornelius Green, and Green will do it. He stiff arms the first defender, picks up six. So the Buckeyes moving the chains one more time. Ball spotted at the Gator 47. Green brings the offense to the line of scrimmage. Out wide now for Ohio State, Michael Bartoszek. Gators stick with the 4-3 safety up. They will play the run. Up the middle, Bruce Elia for the Buckeyes. And he's going to only pick up one. Was slipping in and sliding. Second and nine for the Buckeyes at the Gator 46. 4-3 will play the run. Safety up. Off tackle, Archie Griffin. Buckeyes trying to give the ball to Griffin. And Griffin's going to pop. He picks up the blocks and he accelerates for 15 yards. But a flag is on the snowy field. Florida's flag for offsides. The Buckeyes decline. They'll take Archie Griffin in the 15 yards. Woody Hayes, much happier with this drive. He's an angry man. First and 10 for the Buckeyes at the Gator 31. Gators continue 4-3. Safety up and we'll play the run. Off tackle Archie Griffin again. Buckeyes looking to pop again. And this time Archie will go for three. He held on to that ball. He got hit hard. Second and seven. Second and seven. 12-15 to play in the third quarter. Cornelius Green brings the O. To the line of scrimmage. Gators will play 4-3. Safety up and play the run on second and seven. It's a screen to Archie Griffin. A screen to Archie. He'll go off the receiver card. And Archie Griffin makes the one-handed grab. Breaks the tackle and accelerates. He gets inside the 10. It is a gain of 20 on the screen to Archie Griffin. Let's watch that replay. What a catch by Griffin. And then he accelerates, high-stepping in the snow for 20 yards. First and goal for the Buckeyes, trying to cut into this 10-0 lead that the 2007 Florida Gators have. Green under center, Pajak the tight end, Artauzik the wide out, Hazel still on the bench. Griffin, Ilya, and Johnson, the three-headed monster in the backfield. Gators go 5-2. Five, five down linemen, two linebackers. They will play the run. 
Cornelius Green on the fake pitch looking to turn the corner and get in the end zone. Cornelius Green, he'll be brought down in the backfield. Loss of three. The Gators bring the swamp and the pain. Pierre Lewis and Major Wright on the stop of Cornelius Green. Second and goal from the Gator 11. We'll go 4-3 safety back and play balanced. It's going to be an inside handoff to Big Pete Johnson. Can he go rumbling, bumbling, stumbling? Big Pete, he's brought down for a yard loss. Oh, the Gators all over that play. Excellent read and react by the Gators. And it was Dunlap who brought him down. Third and goal from the 12. Woody Hayes having a coronary on the Buckeye sidelines as his beloved Buckeyes are going backwards. We're not going to play a 3-3-5 nickel, that's for sure. We will play a 3-4 safety back and we will play the pass. Third and goal from the 12. Probably, I mean, they might kick the field goal here. And it's going to be off tackle, Bruce Elia. He'll look to follow his blocks for a big gain. And Elio will pick up three. He went to the left. Conway will come in to attempt the field goal. We're going to play kick defense. Conway, the snap to place the kick. And he puts it through. The Buckeyes are on the board. As he gets that six roll, and it's now 10 to three, Gators. Buckeyes to kick off, here's the kickoff. Gators will attempt the return. Gators, they set up a nice wall, cutting to the left. Oh, it's a huge return! Almost out to midfield, 32 yards on the return by Brandon James. And Woody Hayes is screaming at his special teams coach and the players. Here's the replay once again. Brandon James beautifully, beautifully followed the blocks as they set up the wall to the left. Picks up 32. Tim Tebow on the offense will start first and 10 at their 47. They're up by th uh, 7. The 2007 Gators 10. The 73 Buckeyes and Woody Hayes, 3. Tebow in shotgun, more next to him. Baldry's the tight end. Caldwell outside of Baldry. Murphy and Harvin, the wideout. Snow continues to fall here at Ohio Stadium. Tebow up the middle on 1st and 10. Buckeyes in a 4-2 nickel playing the pass. Tebow to run. Let's see what he can do here. Timmy Tebow. They're going to swarm to Tebow again. He'll only pick up two. They really react well. They're not going for that anymore. So second and eight. Same play. Tim Tebow right up the middle. Number 15 looking to lead the Gators to victory. And he'll only pick up one. He had some chance if he had a low roll there for some decent yards. But the Buckeyes say none shall pass. Sec, uh, third and seven. We cannot squander this wonderful field position. Third and seven at midfield for the Gators. Under nine to play in this third quarter. Ten, three, Gators. Long pass to Harvin. Buckeyes playing the run. Buckeyes playing the run. Here. Incomplete! Oh, Nelly. Oh, Nelly. There was a defender in the zone, and he was able just to get his fingertips on the ball, deflected it high. And Harvin couldn't come down with it, just deflecting the ball was Jerome Davis. Oh, Nelly. Oh, almost had a long gain. We squander. Excellent field position. Henry to punt. Looking to pin. The 73 Buckeyes back deep and give Woody Hayes another coronary. Here's the punt by Henry. And that's going to bounce into the end zone. I should have done a coffin corner. 
Buckeyes have it first and 10 at their 20. Dave Gardner has joined us. He says, go Tebow. Hope all is well, Uncle Dave. Check out that wonderful channel. Of course, Digital to Dice with Ron Juckett on Spreaker, or wherever fine podcasts can be listened to. Green under center, Griffin, Henson, and Johnson, the backs. Three-headed monster. Payjack, the tight end, and Bartowsik, the wide out. We're going to go 4-3 safety up, and on first and 10, play the run. Gators up 10-3. Off tackle with Champ Hansen. Will he run like a champ? He might if he gets a low roll. You know what? He gets a decent roll. He picks up five. Followed his blocks well. Second and five for OSU at their 25. Bembry comes in. Henson goes out. Safety comes up. 4-3 will key the run again. It's a run to Dan Bembry. Bembry looking to do something big here. Pop his ass. Pop his ass. He gets hit hard. Spins forward for two. As the Gators looking to dislodge that football. Third and three for the Buckeyes at their 27. Elia back in. Flank, flanking Elia, Griffin, and Johnson. Hazel back in at wide out. Third and three. We're going to go five down linemen. Two linebackers. Safety back. We're playing the run. Inside run. Archie Griffin. Stuff him. Stuff him. Stuff him. Stuff him. Archie goes for five. He stays low and he grinds. Archie Griffin goes for five. He breaks the tackle. Good blocking by the center. Excellent blocking by the Ohio State center. We'll give you his name in a moment. Daddish with the block. He beat his man. And that sprung Griffin for five. Buckeyes, first and ten at their 32, 6 15 and counting in the third quarter. They trail by seven. Gators, 4 3. Safety comes up and runs support. Off tackle, Big Pete Johnson. Can he go lumbering? And Big Pete will lump. Oh, flag on the play. Flag on the play. Pete would have got four. Neutral zone infraction against the Gators. And you know what? Woody Hayes likes that. Instead of second and six, it'll be first and five. For the Buckeyes at the 37. We have a packed house at here at Ohio Stadium as snow continues to fall. Gators continue to play a 4-3. Safety up and play the run. It's going to be a pitch out to Archie Griffin. Griffin looking to turn the corner for some magic. And Griffin gets magic all right. Minus seven yards. Oh my lord. Flying in to wipe out Archie Griffin. Derek Harvey. Minus seven. Woody Hayes is in sense. It's now second and 12 from the 30. Woody Hayes throws the headset down again and stomps on it. And again, they'll have to give Mr. Hayes, Coach Hayes, a new headset. Bartowsik now in at wideout. Hazel goes to the sidelines. Second and 12. Safety will play back and will play 3 4. And we're going to play balance on second and 12. Pitch out to Archie Griffin. Griffin looking to make amends for his horrible run. Griffin sheds a tackler, but only picks up four. Brought down in the snow. Third and eight. With 5.20 to play in the third quarter. Cornelius Green brings the OSU offense to the line of scrimmage. Third and eight. We're not playing freaking nickel. We're going to play 3-4. Safety up. And we'll play pass. It's a curl to David Hazel. We get a rush on Cornelius Green. Can we get the sack? We need a five or under. We won't get the sack. Green scrambles. He has an opportunity here. Green throws. It's going to be an 11 yard gain to Pete Johnson, the safety valve. Green evades the rush. Gators had excellent coverage downfield. And he screens it to Pete Johnson, actually, the safety valve, Pete Johnson. They move the chains. 4.43 to play in the third quarter. Buckeyes first and 10 at their 45. Buckeyes to the line of scrimmage. Gators 4-3. Safety up playing the run. It's going to be up the middle with Bruce Ilya. Buckeyes will get nothing and they will like it. Gators swarm to the ball. Second and 10. 4-3. Safety back. And we will play balanced. Cornelius Green will fake the pitch. The quarterback will keep. 
And he's going to turn the corner. And in the snow, he will mush for 12. Tripping him up from behind with a safety major right. The Buckeyes on the march in the snow. As they still look for Coach Hayes to get a new headset. Snow falls. 4-3. Safety up. We play the run. Off tackle Archie Griffin. Ohio State sticking to the ground. Archie Griffin is stopped. No gain. No gain. Gators with an excellent job. They're second and 10. Ball at the Florida 43. Just over three to play in the third quarter. Gators cling to a seven-point lead. The 2007 Gators and Tim Tebow 10. The 1973 Buckeyes with Coach Woody Hayes 3. Henson now in for Ilya. Flanking Henson, Griffin, and Pete Johnson. Second and 10. 4-3. Safety comes up. Gators play the run. It's a pitch out to Archie Griffin. Griffin trying to high step and turn the corner. Griffin's going to get hit hard. Griffin's going to get hit hard. He is hit hard. The ball comes loose. The ball comes loose. And we're going to try to pick up and run with it. Yes! The Gators recover! And they pick up a few yards. In fact, A.J. Jones recovered the football and goes seven yards the opposite direction. The big hit by the Gators. Cough it loose. So here comes Tim Tebow, and Woody Hayes is going insane. He is going insane. As day Uncle Dave Gardner says, worked at the rink today, finally getting around to downloading the seasons and games I bought yesterday. I haven't got the only, I haven't gotten anything so far at Black Friday sales. I'd already bought Legends of Boxing. I might pick up a PC replay baseball season or two. And I'm checking out. I'll be picking up some games on Steam, but they're not sports games. They're more shooting zombie games. Uh, I am looking at sports games, though, but probably nothing on Steam. Moore next to Tebow. Tebow and shotgun. Baldry's the tight end. Caldwell the wide out. Outside of Baldry. Murphy and Harvin to the other side. 2.51 left in the third quarter. Off tackle to Moore. On first and ten. Buckeyes in a 3-3-5 nickel playing pass. Come on, Moore. Come on, Moore. Come on, Moore. Jesus, we don't get the rolls. Minus a yard. A lot of good rolls here. 2-3-4. We'll even take six. Nine's a beautiful roll. That's a six and a three or a five and a four. And we roll an 11, which is a five and a six. And that's what we did. Minus a yard. Second and 11. Facing now in the backfield with Tebow. And we're going to go flat pass to Faison on 2nd and 11. It's a button hook, actually, to Gerard Faison. Buckeyes playing pass. 3-3-5 three, three, nickel showing blitz. Tebow looking, looking, looking. It's going to be off the receiver card. 7-8-9, 7-8-9. It's an 8. It's going to be a 9-yard gain on the button hook to, Ger to Gerard Faison out of the backfield. So it's going to be 3rd and 2 now. For the Gators at the OSU 43. Third and two. We're going to go to some power football here. Full house backfield. Tebow under center. Moore, Harvin, and Rutledge are your backs. Third and two. Could be two down territory here. Tebow and run on third and two. Woody Hayes and the defensive coordinator... They don't believe it. They're playing a 4-3, and they think it's going to be a play-action fake. But it's a run by Tebow. Come on, Timmy. Come on, Timmy. Timmy, no flags on the field. Timmy turns the corner, stiffs arm, one defender. He picks up 11 yards. Tim Tebow. And he flips the ball to the official just like you should. 11 yards for Timmy Tebow. Smelly Wrestling Geek has joined us, and he brings up some great pronostications. Smelly Wrestling Geek says, Butt and hook is better than hook and butt. Absolutely! He's here all week. Tip your waiters and waitresses. The veal is quite good. Ba -bum -bum. So let's watch that Tim Tebow run on third and two. He picks up 11. Tim Tebow is fierce. 127 and counting in the third quarter. 
Tebow now back in shotgun. Moore flanks him. Ingram the tight end. Caldwell, Murphy, and Harvin the wideouts. Tim Tebow will fake the pitch. He'll keep it himself. Try to get around the end. They're playing the run, but they're keying more. Can Timmy Tebow hit that two? Hit that two? Hit that two? Tim Tebow will get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. Excellent job of bringing down Mr. Tebow by James Cope. He coped with it quite well. So it's going to be second and ten. Under a minute to play here in the third quarter. Ball spotted at the Buckeyes 32. Off tackle, Timmy. You can't go off there. Uh, up the middle, Tim Tebow. Tebow, it's Tebow time. They're playing pass. Nickel, three down lineman. Come on, Timmy. Come on, Timmy. Come on, Timmy. Timmy busts for five. Tim Tebow picks up five tough yards. 20 seconds to play in the third quarter. Third and five. Tebow calmly brings the offense to the line of scrimmage. Usual suspects on the field for the Gators. Third and five. Tebow will fake the pitch and keep the ball. Buckeyes playing 3-3-5. Nickel playing the pass. They fall for the pitch fake. Tebow. Tebow gets around the corner. And he... What? Did he... Four yards. Four yards. It clearly says eight freaking yards. But Rick Middleton... No, not that Rick Middleton... Not Rick Middleton. This Rick Middleton. It Doesn't it not say eight yards? It says eight yards. Let's just click over and see if there's any bizarre shit going on here. Eight yards, eight yards, minus one. Okay, it says eight yards. But, okay, so there's some sort of... There's some sort of... They had the right call. It says eight yards, but they only gave them four. So it's going to be fourth and one... Tebow's tripped up. They said his knee came down. Oh, my Lord, smelly wrestling geek. What a tip. Thank you very much for the super chat. Hope all is with smelly wrestling geek. He says, I tip the content providers. Yes, you do. And we all greatly appreciate that. Thank you very much for all you do in the community. That uh, Again, watching, uh, commenting. We have a, uh, Everyone does that. Watching the ads is important. Again, if they're not putting five-minute ads out there, you know, if they're 30-second ads, watch the ads. If they're two ads at 30 seconds, we make some shekels. You know what I'm saying? If it's a 10-minute ad, don't watch it. I wouldn't watch it. Or, if you're bored, let it run, walk away, and come back. But thank you very much, our good friend Smelly Wrestling Geek, one uh, friend to one and all in the community. $5 Super Chat. So that will bring out 4th and 1. You know what? 4th and 1, he's not, he wasn't, he's not going to be automatic. I, I looked at his, when we kicked the last time. If we kick a field goal here, obviously we'll go up 13 to 3. I don't have luck with field goal kicking. We're going to go full house backfield, fourth and one. Harvin, Rutledge, and Moore, the backs, T-Bone, and Sonner, Ingram, the tight end. Murphy is the lone wide out. Sealer fan, 1933. Could it be linebacker run contained? Didn't see the play, but... That sounds like... It. Yeah, the linebacker did something. It just didn't show up right because you can see right here. I don't know if you can see. It says a plus eight. This is the previous roll. Uh, Tim Tebow so far, 22 runs, 73 yards, 3.3 yards, no touchdowns. Um, Middleton, that was his third tackle. So on fourth and one, we're going to keep the offense on the field. It's just confusing, uh, Matt, because it says plus eight. Obviously, there's something going on in the background that not showing up. I put up all the boards. So, Fourth and one. We're not going field goal. We're going full house backfield. Tim Tebow will fake the pitch and keep. Unbelievable. They're playing pass. 4-3. Come on, Timmy. We got the first down. Tebow gets three. Woody Hayes must be drinking on that sidelines. You got to play the run there. 
Oh boy, the Strat engine might be a little hungover from uh, Turkey Day. Gobble, gobble. So Timmy Tebow picks up three, and that ends the third quarter. 15 more minutes of football. The 2007 Gators, led by Heisman Trophy winner Tim Tebow, 10. The 1973 Ohio State Buckeye, Buckeyes coached, not Buckeyes, Buckeyes, by Woody Hayes, 3. Steeler fan 1933 laying the knowledge upon us. We greatly appreciate that, Matt. Linebacker run contain will automatically stop the ball carrier one yard short of the first down. Thank you. All right, so team on the offense, first and 10 at the Buckeye 20. It seems, let's go full house backfield again. Full house backfield, and we're going to go short to medium out of the backfield. To Percy Harvin on first and ten. Play action fake. They're playing the pass. 4-3. Tebow under duress. Tebow's going to take off and run with the ball. And he'll pick up seven more yards. Tebow scrambles in the snow. Yeah, Timmy. As he's approaching 100 yards. 24 carries. 83 yards. For the genuflecting, God-loving, Jesus-loving Tim Tebow. And I loved him. He didn't get a fair crack in the NFL. I don't care what anyone says. Second and three. Second and three. I'm going to go back to this full house backfield, even though they never did that, I don't think. I like it. Second and three. Off tackle. Harvin. Off tackle to Percy Harvin. They're playing pass. Four down lineman showing blitz. Harvin could pop for a touchdown here. He's going to go. Bust the touchdown. Percy Harvin. His first carry of the game as he comes into the backfield. 14 yards and the nest plunge. Here's the replay. Excellent blocking by the Gators as Harvin slip slides away into the end zone. And this game is slip sliding away from Woody Hayes and his 1973 Buckeyes. It's now 16 to 3. We will kick the point. Buckeyes going for the block. The snap, the place, he's automatic. It is good. 1, 2 through 12, they're all good. As long as it's not blocked. 17 to 3, 14 point lead for the 2007 Gators. Woody Hayes might have to open up his offense. Gators to kick off. Here's the return. And it's a beauty! It is a beauty! Picking up the blocks, accelerating to the right. What a return by the Buckeyes! Excellent blocking. That springs Archie Griffin for 42 yards. Don't count the Buckeyes out just yet. Here's the replay of the tremendous kick return and blocking by the Buckeyes. Archie Griffin cuts to the right and accelerates. Last man standing finally trips him up. Let's see who it was. A lot of snow on the field. And we can't see who it is. I'm trying to find out. Nope. But it was the last man standing who made the tackle. 13.57 to play. Buckeyes first and 10. They needed that huge return by Griffin. At the Gator 40, Griffin, Elia, and Johnson are your back. Cornelius Green, the quarterback. Payjack, the tight end. Hazel, the wide out. Why the hell are we playing a 4-2-5 nickel? I don't know. In fact, we're going to play 3-4. Safety up and play balanced. It's a pitch out to Big Pete Johnson. We're looking pass. Big Pete Johnson rumbles to the outside for four. As Smelly Wrestling Geek says, the Buckeyes had their game against Michigan slip slide away today. I heard. Cleve Baseball Fan 879 gave us the score 42 to 27. That's an ouch. Second and six. Second and six. We will play 4 3 safety up. And on second and six, we will play the run. Inside run to Big Pete Johnson. Johnson is stuffed. No gain. As the middle collapsed in towards Big Pete. Wrapping him up and bringing him down. Clint McClellan for the Gators. Had a lot of help from his Gator friends. Third and six. Woody Hayes 
is really just a maniac on that sidelines. He's asking for someone from Clemson to punch in the neck. Cornelius Green on a big third and six brings the offense to the line of scrimmage. We're going to go 4-3, safety back, and we will play pass on third and six. Play action. They're going to go over the top to David Hazel. Green, will he have time? Green looking, 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 throws! Incomplete! Excellent coverage by the Gators. We had a defender in the zone. If we didn't, would have been 31 yards. It would have been down to the five. Now it's fourth down. Hayes keeps the offense on the field. Ball spotted at the Gator 36. We might stick with the 3-3-5 nickel here. In fact, we will. No blitz, and we will play the pass. First time we agree with the computer. And they're going to run the ball with Bruce Elia. Elia! Only going to get three. A very strange call. To run the ball in that situation, but that's what Ohio State was known for. It's a turnover on downs, and Tim Tebow on the offense comes on the field with 12 12 to play. Tebow in shotgun. This will be a handoff up the middle to Moore as the Gators look to run clock. 4 2 nickel. Buckeyes playing the run. Here's the handoff to Moore. He'll pick up six. Good blocking by that line of the Gators. Second and four. Good job by Watkins. Tart. Miller. Pouncey. And Medler. Excellent blocking by Ingram. Gators again up the middle. This time Tebow calls his own number. Buckeyes. 3-3-5 three, three, Nichols showing blitz playing pass. Timmy Tebow. Come on. Low roll. Low roll Timmy. Timmy will pick up three. And that will leave third and one. Let's see T Tebow. 25 carries, 86 yards. He has been a moose. He, it's a workman tough performance by Tim Tebow. He's also thrown a touchdown pass. Third and one. Let's go to that full house backfield I like. Tebow will be under center. Third and one. Tebow, fake pitch, and the carry on third and one. Woody Hayes playing pass, 4-3. Come on, Timmy. Come on, Timmy. Timmy will pick up three yards and the first down. Gators running clock here. Three wide out set. Off tackle to Moore on first and ten. Buckeyes, 3-3-5, Nickel playing the run. Here comes more off tackle. And he picks up three yards in the snow. Gators continue to run clock. They'll just over ten minutes to play in this game. Off tackle to Moore once again on second and seven. Buckeyes playing the run, 3-3-5, Nickel. Can we hit the nine? No, we don't. We hit the seven. That's a yard loss. Swarming to the ball, bringing down Moore. Victor Kogel, third and eight, under 10 to play in this game. 2007 Gators led by Tim Tebow, Heisman Trophy year, 17, 1973 Buckeyes, coached by a very angry Woody Hayes, three. It's going to be an end run, Tim Tebow on third and eight, out of shotgun, Buckeyes playing dime and pass. Come on, Timmy. Come on, Timmy. Come on, Timmy. Timmy's going to pop. Timmy's going to pop. Timmy gets around the corner. He picks up 18 yards. Tim Tebow. And he calmly flips the ball to the official. 27 carries, 95 yards for Tebow. As just like in the real game against Michigan, it's slip sliding away. What? Fourth and two. What the hell happened there? We lost. Okay, I missed something there. I missed something. We picked up 18. How many yards did we need? Obviously, we needed more than 18. We needed 20. Was there a penalty or something? 
All right, fourth and two. Ball at the Ohio State 47. Screw that, we ain't punting. Fourth and two, full house backfield. Probably shouldn't give him the short field, but we're going for the kill. Fourth and two. Harvin, Rutledge, and Moore behind Tebow. Ingram, the tight end. Murphy, the lone wide out. Fourth and two. Dave Gunner says, some glitches tonight. I, I didn't think it was more than 20 or more than 18. I, I don't get it. Again, maybe there's something. He picked up 18 yards. Oh, no, he's only for six. Rick Middleton was in position just right. Okay, so that's probably, I'm sorry, he only picks up six. Uh, so that must be what Steeler fans said before. Linebackers playing run contain, which I don't know how you call that, but I, I guess he's playing run contain. Yep. Randy Gratishire is playing, uh, was watching the sweep, I guess. So he does not pick, though it did look like he got 18, didn't it? I mean, then they bring it back. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. I don't like that. Just say he only gets six. It showed him running past the thing. He had a huge run. I don't like that. Then they kind of adjust for the run contain. I don't like that at all. I don't care if there is a run contained, he only gets six, but I don't like the way that plays. They need to fix that, but that's strat. Fourth and two, we keep the offense on the field. Let's go off tackle. Oh, not going to give it to Rutledge, that's for sure. Tim Tebow on the fake pitch and the keep. Again, Woody, Woody Hayes is playing pass. Tebow should get the first down. Might be 11 yards. I don't know. I don't know. We'll wait to see what it's at. He's got the first down. Timmy Tebow picks it up. 10 yards. So he only picks up 10 yards because there must be some sort of contain. But Tebow picks up the yardage. Tebow now 28 carries, 105 yards. As the Gators continue to grind this clock down. Off tackle to Moore. Snow continues to fall. Woody Hayes and the Buckeyes playing pass. Moore is going to pop for 12. No flags on the field. They just continue to bludgeon this Ohio State 1973 defense. Under nine to play. Off tackle to Moore once again. Grind clock, baby. They're playing pass for some bizarre reason. And it's going to be 10 more yards for Moore. It's a Stratomatic Sim Engine playing a little bizarre here in my opinion. Gators first. I know I'm. I got three wideouts, but I'm running the ball. Seventeen to three, under eight to play. Guess who's going off tackle again? You got it. More. They're finally playing the run. Three three five nickel. Hit that two. Hit that two. Actually, they hit more quite hard. That's minus two. But the Gators just want this clock to run, run, run. They bring it down to just over 7. 2nd and 12. Tebow will fake the pitch and keep. Come on, Timmy. They're playing pass. 4-2-5 nickel pass. Come on, hit 6-7. Six, 6-7. Seven, six, seven. It's a 5. Flag on the play. Flag on the play. Flag on the play. Offsides on Florida. Back up the bus, Gus. Don't need to discuss much. Just drop off the key, Lee, and set yourself free. You know who they won't be setting free after this game unless there's a biblical comeback? Woody Hayes. He'll be sent to the insane asylum. Steeler fan 1933 AK man in the chat says, If I remember correctly, linebacker run contain is an automatic call when you line up your linebacker in his natural position on third and more than five. Steeler fan 1933 Matt also says, I agree. It shouldn't it should be animated differently for those who don't play the board again. I, I just, I, I'm happy you told me that. It's just, it's very confusing. At least the game doesn't even show you. I have all the boards up. I have every board up. I love Strat. Not fond of the company in a lot of ways, but I love the games. So second and seventeen, delayed run. Tebow, they're playing pass. 
Come on, it's Timmy Tebow time. Hit that nine. Hit that nine. We get four. We roll a five. We get four. At least I think we get four. And we do. Nope, three yards. So, again, there must be that. Let's see. Uh, line buck. Where do you see? I don't like you don't see. Continue. You must have been contained. He only picked up three. He now has 108 yards. Smelly Wrestling Geek says... Do run, run, run. That's all we're going to do. We take it under 7 minutes. 3rd and 14. 3rd and 14. Tebow, fake pitch. And the end run. They're playing pass. 3-3-5 three, three, nickel. Hit that 2. Hit that 2. Hit that 2. Tebow, no game. But the clock will run. Tebow's played quite tough. He's shown tremendous toughness. That brings out Joey Lijas looking to bang this field goal through. Buckeyes going for the block. Stay away from the 7-8. And he gets the 5. It's good. Lijas kicks another field goal. It's now 20-3 with 6. No, 5.49 left in the game. I'll be right back. I shall return in a moment. And we are back. They're going on a Taco Bell run. I'm staying away from that stuff. All right, here we go. Here's the kickoff. Gators are up 20-3. to Tim Tebow will be victorious. Another huge return coming up for OSU from the end zone. Cutting left and now accelerating. I believe that's Archie Griffin. Griffin for 31. He's trying his best like Bogey and Bacall. We're not going to play dime. We're going to play 3-4, safety back. And we will play balance with 5.33 to play. They're going deep to Hazel. Oh, he's going to connect up with Hazel. It's not which Hazel, it's David Hazel. Hazel racing towards the end zone in the snow, and he's tripped up near the Gator 10, 60 yards to David Hazel. Here's the replay, Cornelius Green. Lofting it in the air and Hazel making the catch. First and 10 for the Buckeyes on the Gator 11. We will play the run. 4 3 safety up. It's a slant to the tight end. Payjack. Green looking, looking, looking. Oh, we got a pick. Come on, pick. Flag on the play. Incomplete. Is there pass interference? Holding against OSU, we will accept back up the bus. Woody Hayes throws down his fourth head step, headset and stops on it. So first and 20 from the 21. They can get a first down at the Gator 1. We will stick with the 3-2-6 dime and play pass. They're going deep to David Hazel. Here comes the pass rush on Cornelius Green. Hicks, Harvey trying to battle through Hicks. Green scrambles away. He throws. It's complete. A gain of 11. Making the catch was Pete Johnson, the safety valve. So Green scrambled. He hits Pete Johnson, the safety valve. Second and nine from the Gator 10. We're going to play 4-3 safety back and play pass. It's going to be a quick out to Payjack, the tight end. Oh, let's step in front of this for a pick six. Incomplete. Getting his hands on the ball, tipping it away. Strong safety, Tony Joyner. Third and nine, 4.05 to play. 
3-3-5 nickel. We'll stick with that. Safety will play back and we'll play pass on 39. Two down territory for the Buckeyes. Green on the keep. He'll fake the pitch and keep the ball. Can he turn the corner? He turns the corner. And... He picks up eight. Oh, my Lord. They're going to mark him just short. Let's watch that replay. He turns the corner. He's stretching out, and he is short. Only a gain of eight. Woody Hayes did not like that. He throws yet another headset down and stops on it. Fourth and one from the Gator 2. We're going to play a 5-2. Safety up. We're going to play the run. And we're going to play inside. Off tackle, Ilya. Can he plunge it in? Here goes Ilya. Ilya, touchdown! And hold your horses. The Buckeyes are back in it. It's 20-9. We await the extra point. So the big... 60 yarder to Hazel from Green set up this drive Conway to kick we will go for the block the snap the place the kick and it is good he gets the double ones the lead has been cut in half a quick drive by the Buckeyes 313 left in the game it's now 20 to 10 I assume the Buckeyes go for the onside kick And Gerard Faison, the hands team, falls on the ball for the Gators. The Gators have it first and 10 at the OSU 46, 255 to play. Tebow up the middle on first and 10. Why they're playing pass, I don't know, but that's their problem. Come on, Timmy. Timmy's going to pick up five yards. Actually, might be four. Three yards, so from five to three, they have some sort of linebacker containment, to which I don't know how it's called. I wish I could do that. <laughs> and we're not going to call timeout. 2.22, did Ohio State call timeout? No, they didn't. No, they didn't. Second and three. Second and three. And run, Tim Tebow, the fake pitch. They're playing the run. Tebow back to the line of scrimmage. OSU standing stop. Now the Buckeyes call a timeout. 204 left in the game. We'll make him use another timeout. Delayed run, Tim Tebow. It's Tebow time all the time. They're playing pass on third and seven. Come on, Timmy. Come on, Timmy. Timmy will pick up four to five. They'll spot it a four-yard gain. Fourth and three. 149 left. OSU used their second timeout. They're down 10. We will punt. I'm not going to do any. Let's go coffin corner. Here's the punt by Henry. 33 yards. That should pin them back. Eh, not as much as we want. I think it's at the 18. In fact, a 21-yard punt because it was a coffin corner punt. 137 left. And we're just going to play... Let's play dime, actually. 4-1-6 dime. Or three, can we play a 3-2-6 dime? Yes, let's play 3-2-6 dime. Not show blitz. And we're just going to play pass... Let's get some guys in that long zone. And there, uh, Cornelius Green will fake the pitch and try to run. And that's a three-yard loss. And he's out of bounds. Horrible play by the Buckeyes. Woody Hayes on the verge of a coronary. Again, we're going to play 3-2-6 dime. Basically, I'm going to play Strat's version of a prevent. We're going to play long. They're going to throw... Nope, it's going to be a run again. He fakes the pitch. And he's going to pick up some yards, but they're just killing clock here. He picks up three yards. Third and ten. We're not calling timeout. Are you nuts? OSU actually had to use a timeout. That's their last. As Green could not get out of bounds, we're going to play 3-2-6 dime. Safety back, pass. 
We're looking long zone here. They're going to throw a sideline pattern to Hazel. Linebacker in the zone. No linebacker in the zone. Hazel will pick up 15 and get out of bounds. As the Buckeyes make a late charge. Thank you, Steeler fan. I might just do that. Download the game instructions. I think, actually, if I click on the thing, it has the help thing. It just, I wish they would show it. Again, we're just playing prevent, basically. Three, uh, playing dime, three down lineman pass, long zone. They're going to run the ball. This is insane. Stay away from any type of game. Green will pick up nine. We'll take this all day. He'll get out of bounds. We're just playing back. The clock is our friend. The clock. We're not going to call a timeout. Clock going tick, tick, tick. I guess he didn't get out of bounds. Pass. Long. Okay. Now here's the bomb to Hazel. We get a pass rush on Green. Green running around in the pocket. Alfred chasing him. Dad is trying to make the block. He will make the block. Green looking to wing it up. It's going to go off the receiver card. Not a lot of there. As he's going to have to try to dump it down incomplete. He couldn't go downfield. Trying to dump it to Archie Griffin off his fingertips. 45 seconds left. As we just sit back and play long pass. Green will keep it himself. He's going to pop for a decent yards. 16 yards. Can Green get out of bounds? He has to get out of bounds, and he does. Again, the clock is our friend. 37 seconds left. Everyone laying back for the Gators. Green's going to run the ball again. It is fourth quarter, right? Green, well, he's going to... He picks up something. Woody Hayes needs to tell him to throw the damn ball down the field. 30 seconds left. You really got to question the Strat AI here. So I don't want to hear anything about any other games that I play regarding AI. We're playing deep. Long zone. We're long. We're playing for the long pass. Pass rush on Green. Alfred again battles Datish. No, uh, 12. I don't think that's going to help us there. But we get some pressure on there. Green looking to throw deep behind his intended receiver, Hazel. 22 seconds left. It's pretty much academic here, folks, as we're sitting back playing the pass. Green will keep it himself. This is asinine as he's knocked out of bounds. 15 seconds left. 416 dime. Pass. Covering the long. And it's an inside run to Archie Griffin. Woody Hayes is thrown up the white flag. Griffin goes for two. And that's the ball game, folks. I don't think they'll get another playoff. And that's a turnover on downs. Eight seconds left. Eight seconds left. We're going to hand the ball. Tim Tebow up the middle on the final play. Come on, Timmy. Come on, Timmy. Timmy's going to pop for 15. Well, let's make sure it's 15 yards. Yes, and that's the ball game. Tim Tebow, 34, carries 130 yards. And that is it. The Florida Gators come into Ohio State St uh, Ohio Stadium and defeat the Buckeyes 20 to 10. MVP, the Heisman Trophy winner from 2007, Timmy Tebow. It is Timmy Tebow time. All right, that was a fun game. Let's quickly look. Again, I like Strat games. I just wish they would tweak them a bit. These games are fun. I love them. Let's go box score. I wish you could make this bigger. This is also annoying. So Tim Tebow, in this 20-10 victory, Tebow, 
only threw the ball 10 times. 6 of 10, 58 yards, 60% completion. And he had a touchdown pass. Tebow, again, it was a snowy Ohio Stadium, 130 yards. Harvin had the other touchdown, his only carry of the game as he went in the backfield for 13. So Tim Tebow is the MVP of this game. Cornelius Green, 21 carries, the quarterback for OSU, 82 yards. Touchdown was Bruce Ilya. And then there was a field goal. So there you have it. Tim Tebow, the MVP. Timmy! 2007 Gators, 20. The Ohio State Buckeyes led by Woody Hayes as the head coach of 1973-10. I'd like to thank Sports Time Machine, our good friend Mr. Utah Mike. Please subscribe and check out his channel. Smelly Wrestling Geek, once again, thank you for the super chat. Greatly appreciate it. Uh, Steeler Fan 1933, a.k.a. Matt, thank you with some rules and gameplay clarification because he plays the card and dice game. I just wish it would show up certain things so I would know what's going on. Uncle Dave Gardner, thank you very much. Check out his wonderful channel. Of course, Digital Dice with his partner in crime, Ron Junkett. Happy birthday to Uncle Ron, by the way. Cleve Baseball Fan 879, check out his wonderful card and dice, Stratomatic Baseball channel. Retro Replays MN, thank you. Larry Harris, thank you. I believe he's an Ohio State fan and they got crushed today by Michigan. The original Grognard, Military Strategy, and much, much more. Check out his channel and the wonderful Facebook group page. Forrest Heitert, thank you very much. He's a big Stratomatic fan. So until next time, health and happiness. Stay safe, be smart, treat people the way you want to be treated. Tim Tebow, it was Timmy time! As he genuflects and kneels in prayer after the victory at midfield. And they have a nice prayer session. I love Tim Tebow. Never thought he had a fair. I don't care what anyone says. I might not have been the best quarterback. He didn't have a fair break in the NFL. They they uh, do this, do that. He doesn't throw the ball right. Leave him alone. Let him play. Let him play. He would have been A-OK. -okay. He would have been A-OK. -okay. Cleveland Browns rue the day way back when. When they could have brought Tim Tebow in after he'd been out of football briefly. They had a good run game, a very good defense, and they had no leadership at quarterback had they brought tim tebow in like they should have it was rumored he was going there to have a trial oh we can't have tim tebow we can't have tim tebow oh it's a distraction he's too much of a nice guy but yet you allow rapists people who beat up their wives people who cheat to play which is fine with me they wouldn't play on my team but it's fine that's the way you want to play but someone who's nice right who's nice god forbid you let him you know give him a fair break and i'm not talking about coming back as a tight end he's well past his prime if anyone thinks he could have played nfl football at quarterback i'm not saying he would have been the best but if you let him do what he can do and stop fooling around with throw the ball this way tim no set up this way let him do his thing let him do his thing he had been all right so there's my little tim tebow rant yes i'm a tebow fan God bless. Thank you very much. Greatly appreciate your time. Thank you very much for the super chat, Smelly Wrestling Geek. I might be back a little later with another stream as my vacation is coming to an end. I don't want it to come to an end, but it's going to on Monday. I have to go back to work. So, Love you all. You know what's coming, folks. Tim Tebow is victorious!